हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग अवर सीरीज ऑन गायनेकोलॉजिकल ऑनकोलॉजी एंड वी आर नाउ मूविंग टूवर्ड द सी एस सर्विक्स एंड प्री मेलिग्नन कंडीशंस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन दिस वीडियो वी विल टॉक अबाउट सम जनरल कंसिडरेशन एंड सम जनरल आइडिया अबाउट हाउ द सी एस सर्विक्स एंड प्री मेलिग्नन कंडीशन हैपन्स द टर्मिनोलॉजी वी यूज in those uh, topics and in second video we will go for cin that is cervical <coughs> intraepithelial neoplasia and the third video will be on ca cervix so let's start why we are discussing this thing ask yourself the question why we are so much discussing the cervical cancer because for your knowledge it is the most common gynecological cancer in the world and only second to the breast carcinoma so it's too too much common and this is not the only thing we are discussing this thing because the root cause of ca cervix is infection is a viral infection human papilloma virus and actually there is a pre malignant condition that is CI, uh, either that can be a cin or that can be a dysplasia normal so there is a pre malignant condition exist which is not malignant actually and actually we can diagnose it with a simple screening test that is pap smear we have a pap smear that is very simple screening test and very easy to take we have a pre cancerous stage that is cin and it in this stage if we diagnose it early and we can treat or we can do a surgical management of this cin a very minimal surgical correction then we can prevent the ca cervix and multiple deaths multiple mortalities so that's why it's very important to learn about ca cervix it's just not important for the patient point of view it's it is important for your point of view because even we at today in india or even uh, we are not following the proper procedure for screening tests we should also have a knowledge about how we should proceed with the screening test and we can save our mother and sisters now <clears throat> we can save many lives survival rate is very good if diagnosed in early stage so ca cervix is a cancer which drastically the management is drastically change for example if it is in early in stage 1 or even stage 1 a or a1 b in this earlier stage we diagnose the cancer we can surgically remove it completely and the patient can live for a long life but if some time is given and if the stage converted into 2 or in higher stage then we have no option of surgery then we can only have a chemo radiation and that will be a very difficult for the patient so it's a very it's a very very a typical kind of ca cancer, uh, cancer. it's not just like endometrial cancer and ovarian cancer in ovarian cancer you actually cannot diagnose it before it happens until un until unless you go ultrasound you cannot see the ovary similarly endometrial cancer you don't have any idea about endometrial cancer before it happens actually and but this thing is what we can screen and we can prevent that's why we are learning this thing let's go further in this thing for example this is a uterus this is a cervix and this is vagina we will just magnify it and see like this if you see the vagina is lined by squamous epithelium okay and squamous epithelium is continue also on the ecto cervix if you see here but the endo cervix is lined by columnar epithelium which is continue with endometrial uh, epithelium so endo cervix is lined by columnar epithelium and ecto cervix is lined by squamous epithelium so the change in this squamous to columnar happens at some place 
and this is called squamous columnar junction S C J squamous columnar junction okay and the conversion of this ecto uh, squamous cell into columnar cell this is uh, this, ha this is happen for some uh, uh, some uh, some mm's you know some length this is called transition zone Tra what is transition zone where the scj lies okay this is a transition zone but the very important aspect or of understanding is that the scj is not a static that means it doesn't make sense that the scj will be here only and will be there for forever no scj moves in and out depending on the conditions if you see the estrogen pregnancy puberty it it promotes the columnar epithelium why because you know this thing endometrial uh, estrogen pregnancy puberty are very important uh, factors for development of endometrium so they favor columnar junction more so scj junction comes out that means the columnar cells are now here also under the estrogen pregnancy the columnar junction comes here so the new scj will be here previously it were here so it moves out okay then comes the menopause only progesterone and with the age this thing what it will do it will just this uh, just clear or it will harm the endometrium and uh, they prefer they don't prefer columnar epithelium so in, instead of columnar epithelium there will be squamous epithelium the squamous is favored actually squamous is not favored but columnar uh, is not uh, actually get what they get what they should get so that's why if columnar goes then squamous epithelium comes into their place so that's why scg now goes inside in this menopause progesterone and with the age so this is the transformation zone i am talking about and this is the most common site for neoplastic change so now you understand transformation zone again i have see please see my video on uh, on neoplasia general conditions general considerations before this uh, uh, series i have started i have already told you whenever the zone of cells in which there is a rapid differentiation there is referred division lots and lots of activities going on cervical activities going on then you have higher chances of development of neoplasia because some of the cell will get mutated okay now is a real picture of endomet uh, of cervix so this is a cervix you can see this is the os of cervix external os and a reddish thing you can see here from here is actually a transition zone here the endo here the epithelium is columnar epithelium and here is a squamous epithelium so this is a transition zone okay you can see here this is also a cervix in which you can see here this is ecto cervix and here it is a squamous epithelium and the red color you have seen here is columnar epithelium this is a aceto white lesion we will talk about how, what is aceto white lesion and what is there we will talk about in future so how a disease progress in ca cervix first of all there is an infection of hpv human papilloma virus it persists then it the dysplasia happen and this dysplasia of cell will convert into cin carcinoma uh, cervix cervical intraepithelial neoplasia and then it will go for ca cervix so now i want you to understand what is dysplasia because this terminology is very important and it will come again and again in ca cervix so you need to remember what is dysplasia there are two basically things first of all we call is metaplasia metaplasia is a normal physiological phenomenon in which there is a change of cell type differentiation of cell for example for from columnar cell to squamous cell 
or from squamous cell to columnar cells. This is a physiological and this happen under some stimuli. For example, if the estrogen is there, estrogenic state is there, this squamous, squamous uh, cell will convert it into columnar cell at the TG, uh, tangi, uh, transition zone. Okay. During puberty, the SGJ man, means the, when the patient achieves, when the girl achieves puberty, this SCJ, that is squamocolumnar junction, comes out. Then the squamous cell is converted into columnar cell. This is a normal thing. Under what? Under estrogen. So stimuli is a estrogen. After menopause, it reverses. Why it reverses? Because the stimuli is removed. Estrogen is removed. Then why? Again, this columnar cell will be converted into squamous cell at the menopause. This is a normal thing. This is a reversible thing. Dependent on the stimulus. But dysplasia is not a normal thing. It is also the same thing like it's conversation from one type to other type of the cell but it's pathological. It is not reversible. It is not dependent on the stimuli. It is a it is having a nuclear atypia in it is a pre malignant condition. So if you see this picture this is a normal cell. This is the atrophy of the cell. This is the hypertrophy of the cell. This is hyperplasia of the cell. This is metaplasia. Metaplasia means conversion of cells uh, type this is hyperplasia hyperplasia means multiple cells but same type metaplasia means multiple cells but conversion of the cell into different type and dysplasia means there is a conversion of the uh, cell but it is a pathological and having some uh, nuclear problem for example hyperchromatic nuclei is there NC ratio is high mitotic figures are high pleomorphism is there anisocytosis is there all these things are present in dysplasia and if you want to know this terminology you have to read my or go my video on the same thing in start of the series of gynecological oncology only then you can understand all this terminologies so this is how a dysplasia is. So dysplasia is basically a pre-malignant condition. But the, the important thing is that they does not cross the basement membrane. When this crosses the basement membrane, it actually converts into the invasive cancer. But yes, when the dysplasia is there, they don't break the basement membrane, then we are fine with that. We can remove this thing. This is a pre-malignant condition. This is all about the... A general consideration of the CSRVX. Thank you.